Right, so in this devlog, we're going to fix our neural network um, because apparently there's there's actually a bug bug in it. Uh, so, given let's say for example, if I wanted to train a file, uh, train a data set, for example, I have this data set right here, one dot csv, uh, and the label data will also be one dot csv. So it's it's similar to the autoencoder classification. Or in the the um, you, you want to learn how the network would reconstruct a particular input, um, and then save it to a file called one.json. It actually works for this uh, relatively shallow neural, uh, a very shallow neural network, right? Where you have you have six to five, six hundred twenty-five neurons in the input. You have thirty neurons in the hidden layer and six hundred twenty-five neurons in the output layer. So it's a very shallow neural network because you only have one hidden layer before the output. And if you try to run that program, then it will actually work, right? So you can see that the network is actually training, the error rate is actually going lower and lower. However, if we change the topology to have a deeper architecture, meaning you have more than one hidden layer, so for example, let's say we have 100, 30, 100 in the first hidden layer, 30 in the next hidden layer, Let's say we have another 100 neurons before it goes to the output neurons. So we have three hidden layers. Then try to run the program again. Then it actually fails. Right? So when I tried to investigate the code, then uh, the culprit was in the back propagation part. I can't actually remember why this, this one didn't work or I... Uh, I can't remember what the proper uh, code was, but simply put in the in this part the temp new weights. I'm actually not sure why I used uh, delta weights get num rows, delta weights get num calls. Probably I was just copying it from the old code that I had uh, previously. But essentially, we want temp new weights to have the same size as the weight matrices at that particular index. So in this case. The index for this part would be i minus one. Remember, in the back propagation part, we're actually looping, right, from each um, from the last hidden layer to the down to the input layer. And if you wanted to actually get the um, the weights in between this current index, right? So, for example, we're in the last hidden, and just to give uh, context, right. For example, we're here in the in this um, hidden layer, the the last hidden layer, down to the next hidden layer, which is thirty. Then you want the meet the, the weight matrix to be thirty by one hundred, right? The new weight matrix to be thirty by one hundred. So um, to get the index of those weight matrices, remember we actually had a vector of matrices. That represented the weight matrix, the weight matrices in between each consecutive or each pairs of layers. So the size of the new weights that we fill in based on our computation should actually be based on this weight matrices at the at i minus one, right? Because if we're 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 in i, we're actually in the rightmost layer. So the weight matrix for that should be the one in between the rightmost layer and the one to the left of it. Okay, so we, we get we, we get that weight matrix uh, using that index, and we just say get num rows to correspond to the number of rows for this new weights. Same goes for the number of columns. I minus one, get num calls. Right, so we compile this again. Try to train it so we have a deeper architecture, and now our training should work. Okay, so that was just a simple bug that um, that I actually uh, missed out. So just to summarize, the at the back propagation part, just before we're about to update the weights in the face from the last hidden layer down to the input layer, we have to make sure that the new weights or container for the new weights should have the same size 
has the weight matrix that that's in between the two consecutive layers, which is given by the index i minus one. Okay, and then everything else should uh, follow. Right, so it's learning based on a deeper architecture. Of course, when it finishes, then we have a, a, a larger set of weights in our JSON file, which we'll take a look later on. Uh, but while that's while that's processing, uh, I guess this would be the best time to now replace the old code with a new one because we actually already implemented uh, the most basic functionalities for having a typical neural network. So I guess it's time to actually put it up on GitHub. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is I'll have a gitignore file. And what I'd like to ignore would be all the stuff in the CMake files. Right? All the stuff in the CMake files, whatever those stuff may be, because we want to want to want uh, any user uh, who downloads the software generate his or her own CMake files by running, of course, CMake and um, CMake dot and then make. Uh, we'd also like to ignore all the. Let me just comment this here. Get ignore. Yeah. We'd also like to ignore the config files, right? Because of course it would, it would, um, it would uh, largely depend on. Uh, whatever you you, you want to train, right? What what configuration you'd like to use for training? Uh, however, we want to uh, exclude or ignore all the JSON files that we actually put to it. But we'd also like to ship the software with a sample, which we'll call autoencoder.json.list, right? So anyone downloading the software will have an idea as to um, an example of a configuration file for train and for autoencoder. Okay, so this one will just have the same exact context as this one, right? Uh, so you have the topology, the test file, and the weights file. Um, the same goes for train.json. Okay, so we have it there. Okay, and that will, that will be part of our get ignore. Um, of course, we, we'd like to do the same thing for weights, right? So apparently our, our training just finished. So this is what our weight file would look like. So remember, it's a deeper architecture, so we actually have a more uh, comprehensive um, set of weight files corresponding to each uh, weight matrices in between the consecutive layers, which we can then use to load in our classification uh, mojo. Right, so we'd like to ignore all those weight files, which can be found in the directory weights. Just do something like weights.json asterisk.json and ignore the data that you actually dumped with basically anything inside the data folder right um, aside from that we'd also like to ignore the executables mainly the autoencoder classify binary as well as the train binary um, I'll call it this as ignore build files, which will be the CMake files, the make files, the make file itself, because we want your we want you the user to actually generate it from CMake lists.txt. CMake install.cmake will also be ignored. Same goes for CMake cache.txt. Okay. So once we have that git ignore file in place. Then we initialize this as an empty git repository. Let's check out the status. Okay, so it will only include the files CMake lists, config. Why is it including config? Oh, right, because we have the dist files and the source directory, which contains our source code. Okay, so we add it up. Let's commit this. First commit. Or rather, I'd say first refactor commit. Um, and then let me just go to my GitHub page. What happened? Okay.
Okay, we'll use this as a uh, repository. All right, I forgot about this. Uh, I should copy the yeah. I should copy the contents for training. Yeah, but in any case, I'll, I'll copy that uh, later on. I'll add the source code for the actual training paper uh, together with the repository. But in this case. Uh huh. Let's see if I do this again. Right. It's something like git remote add origin. Is it there? Git push origin master. I'm sorry. Hopefully this works. Seems for more than one SRC. Okay, so I'd like to force push this thing. <clears throat> I'd like to replace everything. <laughs> mm. Right, git push origin master. Sorry, git push origin master. Let me try this. Fast forward. Essentially, force it. Let's hope this works. Sorry. Let's hope nothing breaks. Okay. Check it out. All right, so we have this. Okay, so we we, um, we replaced everything essentially with our new version of N for artificial neural network. Right? Okay, so that's it for this video. We just uh, fixed the simple bug and then pushed it in the repository.